Climate change, urgent flood warning for 11 Nigerian states amid Lagdo Dam releases. Nigerian authorities have raised alarm for 11 states, warning of imminent flooding as Cameroon initiates controlled releases from its Lagdo Dam, following heavy rainfall across West and Central Africa, with water levels expected to rise, residents is affected in regions must take swift precautionary measures, secure properties, stay updated on alerts and evacuate if necessary. Immediate action is vital to safeguarding lives, minimizing damage and preventing potential disaster in vulnerable communities. Mm. Wow. Uh, you can see well, that well, this is more like because um, it has been forecasted that it's going to rise, water mm. level is going to rise, you get mm. in coming days. And yeah. also, you know, there are so many measures to be taken before this, before this whole thing happened. Mm -hmm. So if we're going back in time in history, um, Cameroon and Nigeria had a pact to create dams, two dams, mm -hmm. Nigeria on the end and Cameroon. Cameroon, Cameroon yeah. created theirs, but I don't know what happened, mm. you get from our own sector you understand so i think that is more like we're paying the price mm. for what was supposed to be prevented oh. years some ago. years ago and now Lack they are not still managing to, uh, the next generation too we still suffer it mm. now this, this is not, not this is now. not just the issue of climate change this uh, is more like an issue death. of what measures what preemptive measures can you take have you taken mm. you get how are you going to evacuate people like um recently money um billions of naira has been donated you get yeah. to this flood victim that yeah. flood relief so and how can they channel these funds you understand to properly tackle the issue on ground so what are your thoughts okay all right so first of all you mentioned evacuation i mean the my, my thoughts on this right is that this situation is there's a need for urgency right yes. in this situation and there's a need to approach it in multiple you know ways first of all there's need for immediate action which number one you've mentioned is evacuation you know moving from from where those people were affected now moving from where they had to probably a higher place or a higher ground somewhere that you know the yes. water or the flood would not affect now to also pay attention to the evacuation plans right what's the plan what's the government planning what is their plan or what are the plans of, of the community leaders to, ev to evacuate citizens or residents of that place from there to a better location? Um, another thing is, I, we are so used to, number one, blaming climate change, number two, uh, you know, reactive measures, reactive which, is, which is not good for us. Um, so lack of inaction, you know, as a when it is needed, would cost, is actually more costly you know it costs life livelihood and also our stock as well you know and the the environment so it's very essential that the governments because this is not we shouldn't blame climate change for this at this point in time what needs to be done should be done there should be proper infrastructure you know the drainage system building of more drainage systems to be able to you know pass drains and also infrastructure i don't know i mentioned this you know before before we came on, on air that there's this need for us to build proper infrastructure you know in order to help with the so, yeah, you with know the this is going to this is going to be an issue because you know ideological experts are of the opinion that the Garo river is more like mm -hmm. a tributary to okay. the river benue mm -hmm. meaning it empties into and the river mm -hmm. benue you get and there are people living within this within belt mm -hmm. the belt of river benue how do you think like I'll push this question. What do you think can be done? Because this is going to lead the, to the death, is that they loss are, of properties. From uh, people that are, let's say, people that conducted various Research. survey Research. on these areas years yes. before, I'm sure they may have, one way or the other, written reports or notified the government that there are some areas that are prone to flooding by virtue of their position, height, or you know, geographical position, position in these areas. Too. There are areas that are more prone to flooding mm -hmm. and erosion, erosion than some other water, areas. Yes. So the question is, they saw this thing, some of them saw this in 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, most times they will tell you sure. this thing will happen in the next mm -hmm. so so number so of yes. years. They used to focus. Right yes. now, because of now that time the, the climate and atmospheric condition of the world I at that time is different from now. now. Yes. So we are having 
climate change. Mm -hmm. Those people in astronomical physics and geography, they will tell you what is happening. Mm -hmm. That we're actually having climate change. Polar ice is melting. You know, the world is 70% moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, time. according to geography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The world is constituent. It's 70% water, 30% land, mm -hmm. terrestrial. So, and the major, vast amount of this water is stored as ice. They have polar ice region. Mm -hmm. But due to global warming, effect of global warming and climate change, these ice are already melting, melting some of yes. them. And then increasing the level water level. of water, water level. the water level mm -hmm. globally. globally. Sea levels are rising. rising. Mm -hmm. When you see those that measure, so yes. those things and these things. So now yes. they are going to be more don't you watch what is happening in other countries? Yeah, in fact, yeah. our country, Nigeria, is even milder yes, compared to what is happening in many other countries. Especially this Asia. Yes. Destroying why. communities, livelihood, changing people's um Ancestral, ancestral heritage yes that's like the word. Very like, like you see that these people are used to living this particular way in this mm -hmm. particular area or oh, for the past maybe 100, 100 years, years or more now water now water change it and exactly it's not 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 it's 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 happening. It's a continuous. Yeah, it's a continuous. So now the issue now is that is you know the problem we are. Let me tell you something. This is on the light on the do. When you have problem in Nigeria, when there is a little outcry or unrest, what does hmm. the government do? Right. Is either they are showing, um, showing just more like rice temporary in Nigeria you know, so temporary or really giving you five hundred million naira? Like mm -hmm. the governor of Borno State, well, he was magnanimous enough to give each head of households that he saw uh, that were distressed. Mm. 10,000 naira each. Oh, sorry, but guess what? If you know something from the problem, problem. In fact, the they are even some exploited. Yeah, they are exploited. exploited. Boats were collecting. Charging Boats so were much. charging so well, much to they, move they, them. To move them from And kudos to the army. The army actually came to the rescue. Used their special military vehicles mm -hmm, to, to transport rescue. people from from uh, one place from to the those, other um, yes this place so i saw i saw a clip where where they um they were throwing bread what is bread like no, you know no, it's no, not respect, it's not respect for you. i know it's temporary but relief no. but it's more like they are seen it's more well, as a solution look at the it's funds not a the funds that has been released how do they channel this funds? Now, that this that there's a statement that the, remy Tunubu, the first lady Yes. Or the wife of the president. Some people, yeah, yeah, some people call her wife of the president. Mm -hmm. Wife of the president, first lady, the same person. She was magnanimous in love through her, by virtue of her being the first lady or wife of the president, donated 500 million naira to the for relief. Yeah. Other more many Nigerians like Atiku mm -hmm. raised 100 uh, million. Pito raised 50 million. It's Other people, it's more like one. climbing over. I like million. the fact that they are raising this money. But the question yeah. is, the question they should ask now is emergency relief to help yeah, them precisely. Yes. this thing has happened is a recurring decimal other communities they should not wait for these things to happen Up there are many so, other communities that are prone to flood mm -hmm. what have they done to the money that was raised before before how exactly. have they used them judiciously exactly. to now, that, 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 that 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 now it's not across sectors it is being used to address the issue of money that is throwing money to the problem that's part of accountability can they monitor them i think the federal government this is the time that this is where we call state of emergency you know yes um yes. state sure. of emergency is not only for insecurity oh, like rest, the yeah. one that has to do with kinetic insecurity yes, where yes, exchange yes. of gunfire mm -hmm. this one now is natural insecurity natural, yes. should i say exactly. natural state and, of and emergency the president exactly. should use his power as mm -hmm. president the authority as president to, to address hold the, mm -hmm. or partner with the governor the, the, the governor of Borno state mm -hmm. and they should work together yeah. to call every hands on decks and they should walk towards this thing declare their state of emergency this, this so that these people will not be displaced and their daily life do you know how many persons lost their goods mm -hmm. so a many like, like it's going to like nine down. billion people nine billion naira lots of, lots, of yes, lots of properties so these things will not i hope there is insurance so for them much. that's what do that's, that's another that's, that's another, that's another that's problem but let's save their life yes so the government have to channel this for it's not by giving i appreciate those people that were able to bring that money for and you know i know the, you know the result can the money do the work you know the resultant effect of these things that it's affecting crops it's affecting mm. food yes. supplies food security. as food security, food security is being farm affected yes. farmlands are being washed away disease. 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 diseases do you know graves well. are a zoom let me even tell you what is happening now graves, graves where they are. bury people skeletons are actually oh. graves are opening 
cups that are ready to decompose are coming outside. You know, these things are, you know, are toxic, bacteria. Yeah, this and toxic, and toxic. So, so yeah, you're, you're, you're putting the health of the residents at the risk health? as well. Not just, not you are putting health at animals. It's not just they said they were the shooting. health. Are you okay, aware that they were shooting animals? It was, it was, um, it was trending on, online that uh, some snakes, animals, reptiles, reptiles, reptiles. dangerous animals. Mm. From, maybe from coming zoo out from, from the zoo the forest, and forest, yeah, the, so yeah. they, they are, you know when they you know they are being they, driven out of their natural yeah, habitat. When they yeah. they tend to they attack humans. So they said they, they from what I gathered, they said the police or the soldiers when they see the shoot, shooting. They shoot. so that this is already causing ecological imbalance mm -hmm. because yes. you are disputing. Imagine when there is extinction, what will happen like to the So it's a very bad something. So I think really your suggestion about state of emergency really needs to be called, you know. Um, yeah. And then for other states that are yet to experience this, this Calabar, working on yes, we have Calabar too. It's Edo to, states, yes. To, you have go, a lot of gully valleys mm -hmm. in uh, those states, you know. It's mm -hmm. common where water will wash down. You see a deep valley. These things happen, and then even Lagos. We know we are close to the coastal, the coastal area. The coastal so, all these so let's see as much as to walk. Is, is like almost, let's business. just say half of Nigeria is just Nigeria, close to the coastal. Yeah. Nigeria is a coastal state, a don't, coastal country. Don't as underestimate where we have both landlock and coastal. Oh, I know we have landlock, but we are coastal the power of water flood. Yeah. If it happens, do you know a very vast? You don't know the extent to which the water can it flow. Can it flows flow very, very fast. Very just imagine what happened in Lagos. Now it has been forecasted that it's going. They are going to be like um, high levels mm -hmm. in coming days, yes. and we have more rains so before what are coming the to dry season. They said the, the rains that are falling, the rains that are supposed thing. to fall for one year, will fall for one year, one day because of climate change. So what are they doing now to address this before it happens? You see, that's the problem because. As at now, we really do not know we've not the measures. We've not heard. The only thing we've been hearing is just the donations, the donations that are the happening. So what our uh, step by step? Uh, our uh, yes, yes, exactly. exactly. Being what accountable for this fund, you get channeling, channeling is right. You get so you yeah. understand to curb this situation. And also putting us in the no carry all the citizens and residents along with your plans. Yeah, it's very essential. We're talking about lives here, please. Exactly. So we talked about, we discussed about flood and the resultant effect in um, humanity. It's called um, on food security, health, and many other things. So we urge the government to put in committees, set up committees that are accountable enough to channel these funds to proper use for these victims. Because I mean, this is going to be a very big problem, if not properly tackled. We try to tell it like it is. Regardless of which acts is God, as Nipi stated, do keep your comments coming in on Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on X and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at plus TV Africa. Until next week. We can we continue working together to accomplish what we do best. Let's continue to push for social change. Bye.